Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Eh, bienvenidos a todos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big B and Amen. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you. And we just want to say, get ready to receive. Amen. God has awesome things for us all the time. You know, there's a lot of negative things going around, a lot of bad reports going around. So we're going to talk about whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. Amen. It's your choice. Amen. It's your choice. But the best thing to do is get in the Word. Fellowship with Him. Have, yeah. have relationship with Him. Amen. And be strong in Him. Amen. The yeah. Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Those sad reports, bad reports, negative reports, they ain't going to help you one bit except give you a heartache. Amen. 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 Give you a headache. And so <laughs> let them go. Amen. So, all of you that are joining us by audio or video, we want to welcome you. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárense lo recibido que el Señor tenga para usted. And he's got a good things for you. Amen. So, there's nothing bad in heaven to give you. That's right. You know, I've heard so many people say, well, God put this on me. Uh, he can't put sickness on you because he right. sacrificed his son. Amen. And to put the stripes on Jesus, and by his stripes you're healed. Yes. So he can't put no negative things on you. He can't put bad things on you. He can't put sickness on you because he has no bad things to give you Amen. except good things. Amen. Amen. So you know what? You, when you get in the word of God, you find out these things. Yeah. You know, you find out that somebody gave you some wrong information. So whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe what the word of God says or are you going to believe what the word says? Or are you going to believe what traditional things say? You know, you got to get out, get away from that. Amen. Believe what the word of God says. Amen. And here's the good thing is when you hear these things and what God wants to do for you, he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you and correct you. Amen. El Señor nos quiere bendecir, animar, cambiar y corregir. Amen. So when he wants to do this, you know, when you come and you spend time with him on a daily basis, don't leave the same way. Leave change. You know, when you, when you have an encounter with Jesus, <laughs> you shouldn't leave the same way. If you leave the same way, maybe you need to get saved. Or maybe you weren't listening. You know, a lot of times we just go in and unload on him and walk away. Yeah. Amen. We, yeah. we need to stop that. You know, when you go before him, you know, he already knows what you need. Amen. Amen. But also make time for him because he wants to bless you. Yeah. He wants to give you. Amen. He wants to yeah. give. Amen. He's a giver. He gives what the Bible says, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave yes. his only begotten son. Amen. So he wants to give. He wants to bless. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive so much he's got for you. Leave change. Leave a new person. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anytime you have an encounter with him, you want to leave change. That's it. I'm not leaving the same way. Uh -huh. <laughs> so wait a minute. You know, like the lady with the issue of blood? Uh -huh. She says, I've had enough of this. 12 years. Yes. I want to leave. When I touch him, I'm going to leave change. When, when Every day when you meet with him on a daily basis or whenever you meet with him, I'm going to leave change. I'm not going to be the same person. Amen. Amen. Don't leave the same way. That's right. Praise God. Maybe you're hanging out with the wrong crowd, hanging out <laughs> with these negative reports that we're passing out, you know. You're confused. Huh. You know, who, who, what do I believe? Well, you're going to believe the report of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what we're going to talk about. Whose report are you going to believe? Huh. We're going to re believe the report of the Lord. Amen. So, uh, I, I had a, a little thing I was, I was going to read to you. Uh, Well, I'll wait till I get there. We're not, we're not going to do that yet. So grab your Bible, so yes. God, amen. amen. And let's say it like you mean it, amen. Yes. All right, here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, a lot of times the Bible talks about the word, I mean, uh, the heart. Yeah. It's, he's talking about spirit. He's yeah. not talking about your physical pump right. and heart. You know, right. he's talking about your spirit. Uh -huh. My spirit is receptive. Yes. Amen. I have already confessed my mind is alert. Uh -huh. You know what? Sometimes you got to capture your mind and stop it. Yes. You know, especially when you have an encounter with him. When yes. you meet with him, you just got to stop because all you're thinking about is so many things to do, so many priorities, and so many voices going around. 
you got to remember this. You find a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Yes. And the battlefield is the mind. Yes. But you have a choice. You can renew your mind or you can just go defeated. Amen. You don't want to be a defeated Christian. Why, why call yourself a Christian, a believer, if you're going to be defeated? That's it. Amen. You're a winner. You're a champion. Say, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> Stop everything. I want to focus on what God has for me. Amen. I want to focus on what God has to say for me today. Every day. Amen. Yes. So praise God. So be focused. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Whose report are you going to believe? Uh, he's got a question mark. You have a choice. Uh -huh. Amen. You have a choice. I will believe. I don't know about you, but I say I, and you can take that I and put your name on it. We've been talking yeah. about this. Personalize your Bible. Mm -hmm. Scratch the eyes off uh, you and put your name on it. Yes. Amen. If you can, if you if you want to just have a no pretty Bible, don't want to mark on it or highlight it, then. Uh -huh. Get one that you can. They may yeah. go to the thrift store or, you know, and get you one that, that, that's already <laughs> rolled up, yes. marked up. But whose report are you going to believe? Amen. We're living in a world full of controversial reports, negative reports. I mean, you're bombarded with uh, media all the time, yes. whether it be TV or uh, cell phones or uh, newspapers, magazines, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're bombarded. And guess what? It crosses your eyes. Your ear gate, your eye gate, see them all the time. But you have to, you have to do something about it. Yes. And it's your choice. Yes, it is. Amen. If you want to be in the negative, you can just believe all they say. But if you want to, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to be positive and believe what the Word of God says? Yes. You can't ignore the Lord and just take him out. Of, in case of emergencies, I'll take him out. You know, and everything yeah. else, it's okay. You know, just put him away. But you're going to have to decide. Yes. The world don't care. Mm -hmm. The world's going to hell. Huh. It's up to us. He says we're, we're supposed to be going out and bringing the good news to the world. Yes. There's a lot of bad news out there, but you got the good news in you. Yes. What are you doing with it? Yes, that's right. Satan and this world will give their bad and negative reports. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you joining the wrong crowd? Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> God and believers, we his servants, will give a good and positive report. Yes. You know, sometimes they want you to be negative. Sometimes they want you to say something bad or something negative. You know, no, I'm not mm -hmm. doing that. I'm not going to give in to that. That's right. Whose report are you going to believe? Yes. Lots and lots of reports coming from all sources. Yes. Amen. From all sources. And you hear this all the time, especially now, you know, the coronavirus, the pandemic, you know, all. Oh. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Well, instead of being confused, just get in the Word yes. and spend time with Him. You know, yes. let Him renew your mind. Yes. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Remember, I say this all the time, but if, if this is your first time, we try beings. We have a spirit. We have a soul. And we live in a physical body. He says this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So what do you do with your spirit, man? You feed him the word of God. What do you do with your mind? You renew your mind with the word of God. And your, your flesh, <laughs> the body, you crucify. Uh -huh. Amen? Because he wants to be lazy. <laughs> Amen? I don't know about yours, but mine wants to be lazy all the time. Uh -huh. Amen? Say, wait a minute. When you get your spirit, man, strong and renew your mind with the word of God, and your mind is strong in the things yeah. of God. Your flesh has to follow. Yeah. Amen. So whose report are we going to believe? The flesh says, don't do anything. I just want to kick back. Mm -hmm. But your spirit and your mind are saying, we got to press on with the things yes. of God. Yes. We got to press on with the things of God. Yes. Things, things will change. Things will change. Mm -hmm. But whose report are you going to believe? It's sad to say some believers uh, let negative and bad reports uh, rob them from God's best. Yeah. You know, we're going to be talking about this, you know, because a lot of times we... Our, our worst problem. Oh. Look in the mirror and say, that's your worst problem. Oh. Because we allow our words to, to rob us. Yeah. Remember, words are containers. Yes. Words <laughs> carry life or death. And so you're speaking those words, and it's coming back at you. Uh -huh. So we got to change the way we talk. Yes. We got to speak, speak, speak uh -huh. faith-filled words. Yeah. Many block their own blessings with the negative reports daily and negative words 
that we speak all the time. The enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. How does he know to attack you? Well, you left your door open. How did I leave my door open? <laughs> the words you're speaking, the negative things you're saying. Amen? Just because you go and join the crowd and talking about the latest and the greatest of news and what's happening, you know, mm -hmm. don't mean you have to accept that. Yeah. See, it means I have to pray about it. I got to pray more. Mm -hmm. I have to pray about it. What's my, uh, what do I, what's my responsibility? It's pray. Mm -hmm. Pray. I don't like this person, that person. We don't talk about this all the time, but. Uh. We have a president, and we pray for him, not yeah. cut him down and say right. negative things about him, you know? That's it. <laughs> you don't like him? You're a believer? You got to pray for him. That's what the Bible yeah. says. Amen? So yeah. pray for your leaders. Amen? Pray for our cities. Pray for our, our, our local uh, uh, leaders here. Yeah. Amen? Prayer will change things. Amen? Talking about it will not. Amen? Amen. So, whoo, you say, I can't do it. <laughs> Good. I know. We do that all the time. Moses told God, he says, I can't do it. He said, I can't, I can't talk. And we have so many excuses, you know. You can just go to the internet and find out excuses, you know, and, <laughs> <laughs> and see which ones, which, which ones you haven't used, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> don't make excuses anymore. God says, I chose you, Moses. Uh -huh. Moses says, you chose the wrong person. I can't. And you know, I'm saying this to somebody out there listening, mm -hmm. somebody watching. Yes. God chose you. Yes. Amen. You might be young, you might be older, but still God chose you. Yes, he did. And God equipped you to succeed and be a winner and be a champion. Yes. And we've given it all away. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've let words, we've let reports just put us down. Mm -hmm. We've let people, world, keep us down. You know, mm -hmm. we need to rise up. You know, he yes. says, we are to rise up with as eagles, you know, yes. not scratch like chickens, you know, or, or wall around like, like hogs, you know. <laughs> we are to rise up as eagles, you know, age has nothing to do with it, you know. Right. Hey, I can still pray if, if I'm old. Mm. Amen. Come on now. Yes. Amen. I can yes. do all things through Christ all who strengthens me. Lord, I need strength. Well, you know, he says, I can do all things through Christ. He gives me the strength. Lord, I need strength. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus our greatest example do when he needed strength. He went to the Father. Yes. So where are you going, Jesus? Where are you going? He said, I'm going to go meet with the Father. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend time with the Father. Mm -hmm. I need help. I need strength. He didn't say that. But we knew where he went. He did some strength. I need some help, Lord. <laughs> I'm about ready to give up. Help me. Amen. So how much more do we need to go, go to him and say, Lord, I need yes. help. I need help, you know. <laughs> you know and, and, and we need to be strong. It says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Be strong in Him. Yeah. Amen. Be strong in Him. Just say, Lord, <laughs> give me the strength that I need to carry this day, to do this day. Amen. But He said He's equipped us yes. to succeed. Amen. He's called you. He's anointed you. He's put everything in you to be a winner. Amen. Praise God. Come on now. Somebody needed that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear it all the time. I want, I want, I want to hear it myself. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, nothing can heal me. I can't be healed. I'm always sick. I'm always catching these things. Mm -hmm. Well, you go around magnifying your problem, mm -hmm. magnifying your sickness more than you're magnifying your God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Let it go. What the word God says. Speak what the word says. Not yes. Not, not 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 the negative, but the positive. Magnify him, and, and not the sickness. Many give up faith and hope and quit before receiving God's promise. Amen. We're not called to be quitters. That's right. Amen. Just think how many opportunities Jesus had to quit, and we haven't even gone through what he went through. That's right. And the beating he took, uh -huh. and being crucified and dying for us. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us haven't even touched that, you know, haven't even come close to that. Mm -hmm. But we're already crying. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't give it up. Don't quit. You know, don't quit. Magnify him. Magn magnify him and not the problem. That's magnify right. him and not your sickness. That's magnify it. him and not the lack or whatever situation you happen to be in. Whatever it is, God knows about it. 
spend time with him. Said, don't ever want to change this. I was going to tell you a few minutes ago, I spent a lot of time in the military. And uh, we have a scripture that we're going to read in a few minutes. It's, it's called, it's uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. And he says, old is out, the new is in. Amen? Yeah. He wants us to do an about face. <laughs> they taught us how to do an about face in the military real well. Here's the definition of about face. If you didn't know, I'll read it to you. It's a military command to turn 180 degrees clockwise or to the right from the position of attention or reverse or total change of directions. I was going with the world. <laughs> now I'm making an about face. I'm going with God. A reversal or total change of attitude. Get that attitude change. You can't go anywhere unless you change the tire, flat tire, or change your attitude. Nobody needs that attitude to God. Yeah. Get that attitude straight. Amen. Yeah. Get it right. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a total change of behavior. Mm. Amen. Be in the right behavior. You know, you could be a Christian and have the wrong behavior, and but people don't want to listen to you. How can you go preach the word of God and your behavior stinks? Come on. <laughs> All right. Do a reversal of a point of view. Amen. Just got to change that. These are, this is an about face. This is what an about face is. Is do it uh, uh, clockwise or a, a right turn in position of attention, uh, change of directions, change of attitude, change of behavior, and change of viewpoint. That's what an about face is. And that's what John, I mean, uh, St. Corinthians uh, 5. Let's go there. St. Corinthians 5.17. We read it all the time. And I don't know what translation you have, but it's good to read it from different translations. And yes, we read it from the Word of God. Amen. It's the right thing to do. St. Corinthians 5.17. And right after 1 Corinthians. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to preach and have fun here. 517 says what? Yeah. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, well, you scratch man and put your name in there. Uh -huh. Amen. Be in Christ. What? He? You. Mm -hmm. He is a new creature. Yes. I'm a new creature. Amen. So are you. Yeah. So if I call you a creature, don't get mad. <laughs> 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 new creature old things are what passed away passed away uh -huh. gone it says behold all things have become new mm -hmm. you're a new beginning amen. amen that's what Lord gave us for this church but, you know we tried all kinds of names <laughs> and we kept coming back to what the Lord gave us new beginnings <laughs> you know every day is a day of new beginnings yes. amen so <laughs> praise God it says, his mercies are new every day also yes but new beginnings. Yeah. So he says the old is out, the new is in. Uh -huh. But you know what? The world and people are always going to remind you of your past. Uh -huh. Amen? Uh -huh. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, uh -huh. your mind is going to focus on the past. Yeah. I failed. I've done wrong. I've quit. I've done all these negative things, you know? So you need to forget that. Yeah. And believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And uh, not what people are trying to uh, hold you back. Mm -hmm. You know, you try, you know, you're not a prisoner of your past. Let it go. Amen. Yeah. So you can't never please people. You know, they still see you, they still see you physical, yeah. physically, you look the same. But spiritually, I was born again. Yeah. Inside, they can't see inside me. That's right. But I was born again. I'm a new creature in Christ. My, spiritually, I am born again. And so are you. Amen. So when they bring the past, you say, you're talking to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the old me. That was an old, old person there. Now I'm yeah. a new person now. Yeah. Amen. Say, and don't let it affect you anymore. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go there and explain anymore. That's say, right. Hey, no, when the enemy comes and reminds you of your past, mm -hmm. you remind, him, remind him of his future. Yeah. Or, or, or you know what you say is, you know, I gave it to God. So mm -hmm. if you want to talk about this, go talk to God about mm -hmm. it. Come on now. <laughs> I'm preaching better than you ain't me now. <laughs> Praise God. Lord, deliver me from all this negative talk and bad reports and help me to speak faith-filled words. Help me to build up and not tear down. That's what you're doing. You're tearing down. 
Mm. You gotta build up. You know, you gotta frame this world. You gotta frame yes. yourself and do what God has called you to do. Yes. It says, deliver me from negative talk. Mm. You have to talk. You know, words are so powerful that the word of God says that you have to speak them out. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. And you have to speak them out. Mm. God said, I spoke this will into existence. I said, I sent the word out and it accomplishes what I sent it to do. So words are powerful. Yes. So quit speaking and quit saying the negative things. Yeah. And quit repeating that negative report. Right, Amen. right. Speak yeah. faith filled words that are going to build you up and not tear you down. Quit beating yourself down. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Let's go to another one. Romans 12. Uh, Verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It tells us what to do. Mm. Right after Acts 1. Are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, let's start on verse 1. I like that too. This is Christian. Mine starts off with it says Christian conduct. <laughs> it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your, your bodies a living sacrifice, yes. holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 is what we want here. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what? Yeah. The renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So, you know what the enemy attacks the most? <laughs> it's the mind. The mind. And he don't have to, he don't force you to do things, but he can put thoughts. Yeah. Amen. And then you take them and you meditate on it. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know is you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he says, renew your mind. That's the battlefield. Yes. And you might, you know, there's a lot of things you're thinking about. You know, blessings, blessings to you. Amen. Hallelujah. So renew our mind. Yes. Amen. Let me see what I have here. New King James says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So renewing your mind. If he tells us to renew our mind, guess what? We must do this. Yes. Because the enemy, remember the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. And he wants to put all these negative thoughts in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to renew that with the word of God mm -hmm. and get all those things out. You know, <laughs> nowadays we talk about delete, uh -huh. delete, 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 all these negative things that we're opposing you or yeah. the enemy tries to use against you. Amen. Yeah. And sometimes our families yeah. <laughs> help us with these things. So oh, we got to yeah. be, be careful. Amen. <laughs> Not only friends, but families. <laughs> Amen. Let me read it to you from the uh, easy to read version. It says, don't change yourselves to be like the people of this world. Uh -huh. Remember, we be God pleasers, not yes. people pleasers. Right. Or not world pleasers. But this says, maybe you can understand this better. Don't change yourself to be like the people of the world. But let God change you inside with a new way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Amen. And how, what's the new way of thinking? We got to get the word and start thinking and meditating on the word. So we can start doing what the Word of God tells us yes. to do. You know, don't don't just say, well, you know, Sister, uh, Miss Know-It-All Scriptures, Miss, Miss, uh -huh. Miss Bible, or Pastor, or whoever you look up to. Uh -huh. They can't do it for you. You can do all things through Christ. Yes. Amen. It didn't say Pastor or, or whoever else. He says, you can do all things through yes. Christ. Yes. And, and don't say, well, I can't, man, <laughs> I can't learn Scripture. No. Okay. I can't do this. I can't do this. Mm. Your time you stop. You stop yes. your, using that. Amen. That's right. I can do all things. It says all I can things. do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens yes. me. And you're going against God now uh -huh. and telling God, you know, his word is a lie. Mm. No, you can mm -hmm. do all things. I can learn scripture. You mm. learn one at a time. Yeah. But you can learn it. Amen. Yes. <laughs> ah, praise yes. God. You still love pastor yes. now. Yes. <laughs> God changed you inside with a new way of thinking. Uh -huh. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants you to for. What God wants for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now I understand what you would need me for, Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Now I understand what my mission is. Mm -hmm. I now I understand what you want me to do. Amen. Yeah. And he didn't equip you or call you or anointed you to fail. Mm -hmm. Did all these right. things so that you can fulfill yes. what he called you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And I'm talking to you. I'm talking to yes. those that are watching, those that are listening. Yes. You know, yes. <laughs> you're listening. God wants to use you. Yes, you know, yes. people, the world has turned you down and said mm -hmm. bad things about you, that you have no good, you're nobody, mm -hmm. you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But it's time you stop yes. listening to that right. and get to reading what the Word says Amen. and go out and do what God wants you to yeah. do. I'm doing this under you, Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. When you do it under the Lord, forget about what the world thinks or what That's people right. say. That's right. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him mm -hmm. and what is perfect. Whew, hallelujah. Amen. So whose report are you going to believe? What are you going to do about it? I can do something about it. Uh -huh. Amen. Don't expect the world to do something about it. Mm -hmm. You can do something about it. Amen. Isaiah 53 uh, and 1 says, Who has delivered our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Mm -hmm. And this uh, translation says, Who really believes what we what we heard? Mm -hmm. Who who saw in it the Lord's great power. Who saw in it the Lord's great power? Amen. So praise God. Whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to read to you uh, another good uh, report in Numbers chapter 13. Mainly verses 25 through 30. We're going to read in a few minutes. But it's uh, about Moses sent 12 spies one from each tribe to scout the land of the Canaanite that God had given them as a promised land. Amen? As a promised land. So he sends these uh, spies. So when they go out, they come back. Ten, ten, they had ten bad reports. Ten spies with ten bad reports out of twelve. And two came back with good reports. Amen? The bad reports was, we, we, we can't do it. We can't, we can't do it, we can't do it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two of them says, let's take them now. Mm -hmm. We're able. Amen. So we're, we're talking able. about no faith, yeah. and we're talking about faith. Yeah. With God, I can do all things all through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so Joshua and Caleb came back with good reports. Yeah. They believed and had faith that God would help them, uh -huh. help them succeed. Yes. And they were the only men from their generation permitted mm -hmm. to go into the promised land. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. So let me read it to you. This is a scouting report. <laughs> After exploring the land for 40 days, the men returned to Moses, Aaron, and the whole community of Israel in Kadesh. In the wilderness of Paran, they reported the whole community what they had seen and showed them the fruits they had taken from the land. This was their report to Moses. We entered the land that you send us to explore. And it is indeed a bountiful country, mm. a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm. Here is the kind of fruit it produced. But the people living there are powerful and their towns are large and fortified. Mm. We even saw giants there, mm. the descendants of, descendants of Anak, mm. the Amalekites and the Niger, in the, and, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites live in the hill country. The Canaanites lived amongst the coast and the uh, Mediterranean Sea and along the Jordan Valley. But Caleb tried to quiet the people. I mean, these guys are giving their negative reports, you know. <laughs> Caleb tried to quiet the people and they stood before Moses and said, look, <laughs> let us go at once and take the land, he says. We can certainly conquer it. Yeah. But the other men who had explored the land with their disagreement, uh -huh. we can't go up against them. Mm -hmm. They are stronger yeah. than we are. So they yeah. spread the bad report to all the land of Israel. Uh -huh. Amen. So listen, the bad reports are going to get out. Yeah, they are. But so are the good reports. Yes. So which one are you going to choose? Are you yeah. going to choose the good report or the uh -huh. bad report? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> with God, you can do it. Yeah. Amen. Without God, we, we, we can't do anything. Yeah. Amen. When I say you fight a spiritual battle daily, 
is you got to have the word in you and you got to speak the word. If you're not in the word, you're no match to the enemy. That's right. The devil, you're no match to a full time devil. No. You know, if you're just part time or, or, or just lukewarm no. or not doing anything, being a lazy Christian, mm -hmm. you're no match to the devil. You know, so you got to get yourself off your como se llama mm -hmm. and uh, get busy for God. Mm -hmm. And get the word out of you. Let the word come out of you. Start speaking in good report. Yes. Amen. And then you can do all things through Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> so the majority is not always right. Believing the right report is not always popular. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I believe you. I believe I believe oh. what the God says. Well, guess what? The majority of this world ain't gonna like you. That's right. <laughs> Amen. So you got to stand and stand on what report you're giving. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Lord. I believe in your word, and, and I'm standing with you. Mm -hmm. and, amen. I am going for you. I'm going to fulfill my mission. But guess what? You ain't always popular. Mm -hmm. But I'm not trying to be popular with the world. Amen. Yeah. I'm not trying to please the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not trying to win buddies. Mm -hmm. I told you this so many times. I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies. Lord, help me with my enemies, Lord. And guess what? <laughs> I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. So be careful who you call a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if God takes them from you, let them go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Caleb had to stand up in the midst of the majority and say that he and Joshua, the minority, <laughs> could handle the giants. Say, hey, let me at him, you know. What did David do? He was standing before a giant. He had an army behind him, yeah. but they were afraid to go against the giant. Uh -huh. one, one, one giant. One giant. But David says, you know, they weren't even talking about God until David showed up. He <laughs> said, but my God is able. My God is big enough. You know, start speaking about your God is mm -hmm. bigger than anything out there. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and David went and conquered a giant. And you know what? You got giants facing you on a daily oh, basis. Boy. Whatever giants you you yeah. have, you know, could be uh, uh, finances, could be whatever. Mm -hmm. Yours is different than mine, but whatever is facing you, those giants are there mm -hmm. daily. But you got to stand, and you got to put on the armor, and you got to be ready to go and, and fight the good fight yeah. of faith, amen. Yes. And keep that going. Yeah. <laughs> We get so focused on the big reports, on the bad, on the on the big report, mm -hmm. and forget that all the small reports that have been answered, Amen. Mm -hmm. It's just not about the big reports; it's the small things too. Yes. God is He cares for about the small things too. Yes. You know, you just don't have. Well, I did something big, and I want people to know, and I want people to see, mm -hmm. so that I can get a, you know, a pat in the back. Get a pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what it's about. You know, a lot of things. We do a lot of things I do. I do them. Nobody's watching except God. Yeah. And God knows. Lord. And God's going to bless you. Amen. When you do it under Him, He's going to bless you. Lord, if, if you're doing it to please the world, it's going to fail. And you're not going to be pleased. And you're going to be stressed. Mm. You're going to be stressed because you're doing something and people ain't responding. And people ain't uh, accepting it. Huh. But when you do it unto God, you know, it doesn't matter, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Yeah. And things, I'm happy already because yeah. I'm doing this under you. Yeah. And he's blessing me. And I'm happy about it. Amen. Yes. So we want to focus on the on the big blessings. We focus on the big blessings and forget about the small ones. We need to focus on God, uh -huh. the bless all, and not yes. just the blessings. And sometimes we forget about the blessings. Uh -huh. Sometimes we just want to focus on the blessings and forget about the God and the blessed Lord who's blessing us. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need to know where the source comes from. He says he'll supply all of our needs. Right. Amen. So let's not forget about God. Amen. Thank Exodus 23 Lord. and 1 says you shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked and be an unrighteous witness. Mm. If you didn't understand that let me read it to you this way. <laughs> Don't lie against other people. If you're a witness in court, don't lie to help a bad person tell lies. Oh, <laughs> just 
good to find out what the other translation says. So I understand that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie for you. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. Anyway, whose report are you going to believe? I got so many, and we're not going to touch them all. Amen. But Simon Peter, Jesus is preaching uh, Luke 5, chapter 5, 1 through 8. And you can mark this and you can go read it. But Jesus is preaching and people come from all over the place mm -hmm. and Jesus <laughs> see he saw two ships up there mm -hmm. and Simon Peter had just come in and they're washing their nets yeah. you know and uh, the ships are empty so Jesus saw the ship so he goes to one of the ships and he says take it out a little way and then he starts preaching to these people mm -hmm. amen and then when he's done when he's done speaking he said to Simon Peter, he says, not out into the deep mm -hmm. and let down your nets, yes. plural, <laughs> nets. <laughs> and Simon Peter answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night. Mm -hmm. We have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Uh -huh. Singular. <laughs> Well, he had faith enough to do what Jesus mm -hmm. told him to do, but he yeah. let down one net. One net. <laughs> <laughs> so, still, he believed. And when they had done this, they encountered a great multitude of fishes, uh -huh. and their net break. Yeah. And they beckoned upon uh, their partners, which were in the other ship, that they would come and help them. Uh -huh. And they came and filled both ships. Yeah. Filled both ships. Amen. Yeah. So whose report are you going to believe? Uh -huh. You know, sometimes you might say it by yourself. Yeah. But still, whose report are you going to believe? Yeah, it. it says, fill both ships uh -huh. so that they begin to sink. Yeah. And Simon Peter saw it. He fell at Jesus' knees, saying, uh -huh. depart from me. Mm -hmm. I am a sinful man. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. So whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, you know what? Something, we have a saying that's real popular. They say, you know what? Hey, I already tried Jesus. <laughs> you don't try it. Yes, it is. You keep it. Yes. <laughs> it's a it's a lifetime. It's eternity. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just don't. Well, I tried that, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of us have been trying drinking for ages now. <laughs> and we don't give up. <laughs> We're trying drugs forever. And we don't give up on those. Don't give up. But you know, we tried Jesus one time and that uh -huh. was enough. And we uh -huh. just give it up. You know, that's it. Yeah. You know, when things get tough, the tough get going. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Out of this, Jesus chose his followers. Amen. John and James, uh, James and John, the son of Zebedee, were amazed too. Uh -huh. Jesus said to uh, Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will work. Uh, you will be, to, uh, bring, you are going to be bringing people to me and not fish. Uh -huh. Amen. We're going to be fishers. Of people, mm -hmm. not fish. I mean, pe fishes of men, yeah. and not fish of uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, the fish, <laughs> not fish, and brought man. Uh, the men brought their boats to the shore, and they left everything. They left yeah. everything. They came back to shore. They left everything, mm -hmm. and they followed Jesus. Yes, Amen. So you know what? When you was born again, <laughs> now's the time. Give it all up. Start following Jesus. Yes. Amen. You give up whatever he tells you to give up yes. and start following him. Amen. Amen. And and things are going to be well. Yes. What about you? Whose report shall you believe? Simon Peter believed the report of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can go and follow his report. I can yes. go and do his, preach his word. Amen. Speak his word. Amen. And things are going to uh, change. Things are going to happen. Yeah. So, all things, all things, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whose report are you going to believe? You know, hey, the doctor might have told you, <laughs> you're sick. The doctor might have told you, this is what you got, mm -hmm. this is what, this is, this is, now all these things you have, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Who are you going to believe? Yes. Amen. Yes. We've heard good reports already. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't receive it. I don't accept it. Right. And I'm standing on the word of God. Yeah. And I'm going to stand on his report. Whose report am I going to believe? Yeah. I'm going to believe his report. Yes. 
your bill says you're broke, your job says you're fired, your children yeah. are going crazy, mm. <laughs> school report card says, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever, mm. and your health report is not so good, mm. well, whose report are you going to review? Yeah. Yep. You got to stand in faith. Listen yeah. to this. Whatever report you've been given, whatever report you've been given to you, stand on the word. Yeah. Believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. This is your report. Your bad report. Mm. It's impossible. God's good report says all things are possible. Yeah. Luke 18, 27. Huh. Amen. There's a scripture for every one of these. Amen. Amen. I'm tired. I will give you rest. Matthew huh. eleven twenty eight. Nobody loves me. God really loves you. John 3, 8, uh, 1. You can't go on. God gives you sufficient. Uh, Psalms 91, 15. Mm. I can't figure things out. God will get direct your steps. Mm. Proverbs 3 and 5. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, 3, 5, and 6. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Well, Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things mm -hmm. through Christ. Amen. So here's the negative. Here's the positive. <laughs> You can't forgive yourself. God will forgive you. John, First John 1, 9. Mm -hmm. Amen. First John 1, 9. Mm -hmm. So remember this. Somebody's told you. Somebody needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. Amen. First John, let's go. First John 1, 9. And let's read it. Yes. See what it says. Yes. First John 1, 9. You need to hear this. This is him talking. He says, if we, you can put your name there, if I, and you can put your name there, if I confess my oh. sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah. So he's going to forgive you, who has ever hold that against you, who's ever told you you cannot be forgiven. Yeah. It's not right. Mm -hmm. So the word of God says you can be forgiven. So whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Believe the, what the word of God says. Believe yeah. the report of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. You can be forgiven. And you know what? All he wants you to do is dust yourself off mm -hmm. and press on with the things of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Press on with the things of God. <laughs> I fear. You fear? Well, God says, I've met not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yes, yes. It's just, I'm just kind of going through some of these. I'm worried and frustrated. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to go there. You're not smart enough? It says God will give you wisdom. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 1, 30. So yeah. quit going around calling yourself a dummy. Uh -huh. Quit calling yourself a nobody. Uh -huh. Amen. God will give you the wisdom that you need. Yes. And God has called you and equipped you and mm -hmm. gave you the talents that you need to fulfill whatever he's called you to do. Yes. Amen. So he, he never calls you those things. And you're calling yourself this because somebody you heard it from somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> let's see how I want to say this. Whoever that person is, or whoever, get, whoever gave you that report card that you're no good, that your grades ain't good enough, they don't know my Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I'm still doing what God has told me to do. And I'm still going to believe in his report. Amen? Yeah. You're all alone. So many people are all alone there right now. Yeah. <laughs> they say, but he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Right. If you've uh, read the, uh, the, the footprints in the sand, mm. When he felt, he said, Jesus walking with me, he says, two prints. But all of a sudden, there's one. Mm -hmm. And he says, where did you go, Jesus? Mm -hmm. He says, <laughs> when you see the one, he says, I was carrying you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He was carrying you. Right. Through all that bad stuff that we uh -huh. went through. Amen. He was the one that never gave up. And he'll never give up on you. Amen. So he says, Hebrews 13, 5, he'll never, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. And I'll close it with this. <laughs> well, that's the most amens I got. <laughs> <laughs> Philippians 4 8 says, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are, are just, uh -huh. whatsoever things are pure, 
whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, of good report, yes. if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, uh -huh. think on these, on these things. So he tells us what to think yes. on, you know, so all that negative stuff, uh -huh. just, just let it go. Go to the next yeah. one, Carl. There you go. <laughs> Yay! You see that little kid? He got the uh -huh. cape on, superhero. There's a sign right in the middle that says what? Jesus. <laughs> it says, whose report will you believe? The doctor says this. The lawyer says this. Whoever says what, whatever. But what? Whose report are you going to believe? The doctor's report? You're going to believe Jesus' report. Amen. So praise God. It doesn't matter. Uh, there are some other examples that we didn't talk about. Jesus went in and raised a young lady from a, a young girl from being dead. Mm -hmm. He said, <laughs> these people are just trained to go in there and just, I mean, they was making all kind of loud noises. And Jesus walks in and puts them all out. He says, she's not dead, she's asleep. <laughs> so they left at it. So he says, out. So they went out and guess what? Mm -hmm. She came back. <laughs> she came back. So yeah. the doctor could give a report. How many doctors have been told, you know, mm -hmm. this person, there's nothing wrong. They saw this, but now it's not there. Mm -hmm. So they're healed, praise God, amen? Yes, so, yes. praise God. Amen, yes. amen, amen. So, whose report are you going to believe? Yes. You're going to believe the report of the Lord. You're going to believe the report of the Lord. Yes. He's not finished with you. You're still listening, you're watching him. He's not finished with you. Your mission is just beginning. Yes. It's not over until one day he'll call you home. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when he'll call you home, you'll hear this from him. He'll say, Welcome home, good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise so God. praise God. I don't Amen. know about you. I, I asked Patricia for the copy of this uh song and I never read it. It's a, it's a great song, I like it. But it says, whose report will you believe? It says, we shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am healed. Mm -hmm. And you go confessing those things about yourself. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, confessing your, your sickness, go around confessing that I'm healed. Because the word of God says I'm healed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Speak healing on your body. Body, line up with the word, receive the healing. Yes. Amen. My healing is for me. Since his report says I am filled, I am filled. Praise God. His report says I am free. <laughs> Be free. Amen. Yeah. Just don't go around uh, speaking negative things. Mm -hmm. His report says victory. I have yeah. victory. I I have I have victory in him. Amen. Yeah. So there's victory in Jesus. Amen. Yes, there is. So praise God. Amen. So if you never accepted him, now's the time, you know. And uh, just receive him as Lord and Savior. Just yeah. repent. It says, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And you know what? Just do an about face and start serving him. Yes. Amen. Start going to church. Start reading your Bible. Start doing the, what he's called you to do. Amen. And fulfill what he's called you to do. Amen. So praise God. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, stop confessing your sickness. Mm -hmm. And start confessing that by Jesus starts I am healed. Yes. Amen. And Lord, I just thank you, those that are watching, those that yes. are listening right now. That by Jesus Christ, they are healed, Father God. Yeah. Whatever that sickness is, yes. it's been paid for by Jesus Christ. Yes. And we just thank and we speak healing in those bodies right now in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Do we see that? Uh, yes. Amen. <laughs> victory. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. So before we go, we just wanted to give you an opportunity to, to give. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if you're watching or listening and you want to give your tithes or your offerings, uh, information's on the on the board there at NBCBigBen.com. There's a donate button. Just press that. If you're mailing it to NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. So praise God. Remember, whose report are you going to believe? When you start believing the report of the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen.